array iteration. I'm going to go through eight methods to iterate through an array. To iterate means that you're going through the array and you're doing something with each item of the array. Uh, some, some methods don't necessarily go through each item, but we'll get to that. Most do. The first one is for each. Let me show you an example here. So you can see in the example, I'm passing in the array 1, 2, 3 for each. And for each is pretty straightforward. It just does something for each item in the array. So we pass in, we can pass in the item and we pass in the index of the item in the array. And then for each, in this example, for each item, we're just going to console the log and the index. So if I run that, we can look in the console, 1, 0, 2, 1, 3, 2. That's just the item in the index. The next way to iterate is map. In map, it takes the item that's from the array, it does something to it, and then puts a new thing back in that same place in the array. So if we have this array called 3, and there just says 1, 2, 3, and now we are going to assign it to doubled, 3 dot map, that's how we're going to iterate, and we're going to return the item times 2. It's just going to double each item. So instead of the array being 1, 2, 3, there's going to be a new thing in place of each item in the array. If I run that, you can see at the bottom, 2, 4, 6. It's all been doubled. Next up is filter. Filter is going to take an array and it's going to check each item in the array against some, against some kind of condition to see if it's true or false. If it's true, it's going to put the item back in the array. If it's false, it's not going to put the item in the array. And each of these makes a brand new array. So we're going to pass in the numbers 1, 2, 3, and it's filter. And the condition is item modulus 2 equals 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 0. And for each of these items, it's going to check to see if, if that's true. And this is just a way to find out even numbers. So if we run this, you can see the bottom of the console here. Um, the only item it's going to put back into the array or into the returned array is 2. Uh, it doesn't actually put it back into the array it, because ints still e is 1, 2, 3, but evens is now 2. Reduce. In reduce, we're going to take an array and we're going to do something and then pass the result to the next iteration along with the next item in the array. So that's why we're going to put re result and an item in here. So the first time it, it goes through the array, it's going to have a result, and it's going to send that result to the next item, to the next uh, iteration, and then add an item. The number at the end is what the initial result is going to be. If you don't put a number at the end like this, the initial result will be th the first item in the array. So when it goes through this, it's, the result is going to be zero, then we're going to add the first item, that's one, and then it's going to go through the item, the array again, and the result is now one, and it's going to add the item two. So one plus two is three, then it's go th going to go through again, there's all this three, it's going to add three, and that's going to be six. And before we run that, I'm going to put console.log sum, and let's see, at the very end, we get six. Next up is sum. Sum, you just check if any item in the array, so here's, here's all the items in the array, has negative numbers. Sum means, does any item in the entire array meet this condition? So if any item in the entire array meets the condition is less than zero, it's going to be true. If no items meet the condition, then it's going to be false. So you can see this is true because one of the items in the array is negative. The next one is every, and this is kind of similar to sum, but now every number has to meet the condition. So we have the const all positive numbers, we pass in 1, 2, and 3, every, and now here's the callback function, we're going to run this function, we're going to pass in each item, if each item is more than 0, then uh, we're going to put true. But also, if we make just one item negative when we run that, we're going to have false. So it's either all or nothing with this one. Okay, next one we're going to look at is find. Find goes through every item in the array and checks it against the condition, and if that's true, it returns that item. So it's searching for a specific item in the, in the array. If we pass in this array, 
And in this array, we have a list of key value pairs. ID is A, ID is B, ID is C, objects.find. We're going to pass in this function with the item. So it's going to go through each item and check to see if the ID equals 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 B. And then if it finds that, it's going to return it. So it returned the whole thing, ID B. If it doesn't find your item, then it will return undefined. And the last one is find index. Find index is pretty much just like find. Everything in this code is the same except we just add the word index here. And then instead of find, it's find index. And then we're consoling find index. So instead of returning the actual item, it's going to return the index of the item. So this is index 0, index 1, index 2. And you can see that uh, we're looking for B, and that's index 1. So if I run that, and you look at the bottom of the console, you will see a 1. If it does not find the index anywhere, it will return negative 1. Well, thanks for watching. And special thanks to Jordan Harband. I used something that he wrote as inspiration for this video, and you can see the link to that in the description. Don't forget to subscribe, and remember, use your code for good.